The same gales that laid waste so much of Britain have taken an even greater toll of property and life in Holland. The seas, lashed by a mighty wind, broke through the dikes and poured in to swamp the countryside. Flying over the scene of the tragedy, Prince Bernhard looks down on immense areas ruined by the Great Flood. Streams of refugees leave the stricken towns and villages. More than 50,000 have already been evacuated to safe areas. Behind them, they leave their homes and farms to the mercy of the waters. They leave behind, too, many friends who did not escape in that night of horror. Each day, the death roll mounts. Now it stands at nearly 1,400, and the people who witnessed the tragedy tell their stories, often of whole families swept away by the churning waters to die. Speedily the evacuation goes on, for none can tell when another storm may strike and bring added devastation to the land. Aircraft fly in with supplies for the people still to be moved. British, American and Belgian pilots keep up a shuttle service in helicopters to relieve the many isolated villages cut off from contact with the areas of safety. Ceaselessly they fly on their missions of mercy, often to search for the thousands still missing. Prince Bernhardt, who returned from America immediately he learned of the disaster, watches the evacuation continue. Help has been offered from all over the world for Holland and for other countries hit by the flood. Already the Dutch have received 50,000 pounds from the people of Australia. Still in flying kit, Prince Bernhardt talks with the people who have suffered so grievously and discusses plans to rebuild the sea walls of Holland. In rest centers in the province of Utrecht, Queen Juliana meets many who have been rescued from the flood areas. Some shall learn only in after years of the horror through which they have passed. In many places, the waters are still rising and every means of transport is used to hurry the villagers away from the advancing flood. Never in living memory have the Dutch suffered such a disaster. Yet they'll fight back, rebuild their shattered homes, and make this once more a prosperous land. But for the moment, their hopes for the future are darkened by the memory of the tragedy that has been among them. They mourn their dead, and the world joins them in their grief.